Hi everyone, I'm Farida, and this is the Dental Radiology. Today we're going to talk about the slop technique, how to localize an object and differentiate the root canals in a multi-canal tooth. The slop technique is also called the buckle object technique, the tube shift technique, and the Clark technique. What does slope stands for? The slope stands for same, lingual, opposite, buccal. It is an image localization technique for understanding the buccal and lingual orientation of an object. A pre apical radiograph is a two-dimensional image of a three-dimensional object. When two objects are in different buccal and lingual position, taking two radiographs, in different angle can determine their position. The first radiograph is a straight angle. In a straight right angle practical radiography, the X-ray is perpendicular to the object and the film. Therefore, the two objects will be superimposed on each other. If I take another radiography with a different angle, like with a tube shift towards the mesial, the objects in the lingual moves nasally and the object in the buccal moves distally. This is the meaning of the slope technique, same lingual opposite buccal. The object that moves the same direction with the tube is positioned lingually, so the object that is imaged in the mesial is positioned in the lingual. Let's use this technique for localization of an impacted tooth. In the first right angle radiography, the impacted second mandibular premolar is in the mesial of the first mandibular molar. With a tube shift towards the distal, the impacted second premolar moved distally toward the first molar. Therefore, the impacted premolar is located in the lingua. Let's localize it again, this time with a mesial shift. In the mesial shift, the impacted second premolar is moved mesially towards the first premolar. So, as before, the impacted second premolar is positioned lingually. When you're doing a root canal therapy, you have to identify the superimposed canals. In this example, we have a premolar with two canals one in the buccal and one in the lingual. In the straight Right angle practical radiography, the two canals are superimposed on each other. To split the canals, the tube head is shifted towards the mesial. The lingual canal follows the same direction of the tube head movement and is imaged on the mesial of the radiography. The buccal canal follows the opposite direction of the head tube movement and is imaged in the distal of the radiography. In this radiographic of the first mandibular permolar, the first radiographic is the right angle radiograph. With a mesial shift of the head tube, the two canals are split. The canal in the mesial of the radiograph is the lingua that have moved in the same direction of the head tube. In this schematic view of a mandibular molar with four canals, two in the mesial and two canals in the distal, in the right angle radiographic, the two canals are superimposed on each other in each side. To split the canals, the tube is shifted mesially. Between the mesial canals, the canal that is mesially is the mesial lingual canal, and the other one is the mesial buccal canal. Between the distal canals, the canal that is mesially is the distal lingual canal. And the other one is the distal buccal canal. In this radiograph of the first mandibular molar, the first radiograph is a right angle radiograph. With a mesial shift of the tube, the mesial canals are determined as mesiolingual and mesiobuccal, and the buccal canals are distolingual and distobuccal. Remember, lingual canals in each side is imaged mesially than the buccal canal. If you like this video, please subscribe and if you have any opinions for the next video, please comment and stay in touch. 
Thank you for your attention and have a nice day.